Hello and welcome friends. In today's video, we're going to see how to multiply and divide given fractions. So let's see them with the examples. So for fraction multiplication, I have taken these two fractions 2 out of 9 and 3 out of 8 and we have to multiply them. So there are two ways that we can do the fractions multiplication. I will explain these two ways one by one. So let's start with way number one which is multiplication first. In multiplication first we will take the numerators from the given fraction and we will multiply them and we will take the denominators from the given fractions and we will multiply them. So what we what this means that our new numerator will become 2 into 3 and our new denominator will become 9 into 8. If we multiply them, so we will get 6 out of 72. If we notice, we can simplify the result by dividing the numerator and denominator with the highest common factor which is 6 in this case. So if we divide we will get 1 in the numerator and 12 in the denominator. So our result will be 1 out of 12. So this was multiplication first method. Now I will explain the same example with the different method which is simplification first. So in simplification first, what we will do, instead of multiplying the number first, we will try to simplify them first. So if we notice in the given fraction 2 out of 9 and 3 out of 8, we can simplify them, right? Because 2 and 8 have the common divisor which is 2. So if we simplify, it will become 1 out of 9 and 3 out of 4. Now again if we notice the 3 in the numerator and 9 in the denominator can be cut. So we will cut them by the highest common factor which is 3. Because now these fractions can't be cut any further or simplify any further. So we will multiply numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator. So if we do so we will do 1 into 1 for the numerator and 3 into 4 for the denominator we will get 1 out of 12. So friends result whether we are using the way 1 which is multiplication first or the second way which is simplification first we will get the same result. There will be no difference in the result it just which way suits you more. If you ask me personally which way I prefer more it is a simplification first method because what it does if we take the bigger number in the fraction it reduces them and solving the problems becomes really easy so any other examples in this video i will be explaining using simplification first methods so let's see another example so here i have taken two fraction 9 out of 20 and 16 out of 27 we have to multiply these fractions as I have told already that I will be using simplification first method. So if we notice we can simplify these fractions because 9 and 27 has the common fact have the common factor which is 9 itself. So if we simplify we will get 1 in here in the numerator and 3 here in the denominator. Now our new fractions are 1 out of 20 and 16 out of 3. Again if we notice 20 and 16 also have the common factor. So we can cut them or simplify them as well. So we will get new numerators as 1 and 4. So we have to multiply them and the new denominator as 5 and 3. So we will multiply them. So our result will be 4 out of 15. Okay, Let's see one more example. So here there is a whole number 15 and we have to multiply a fraction 2 out of 55 with it. So what we will do because we don't have denominator in this case. So whenever we get a number which doesn't have the denominator and we have to convert into a fraction what we can do we can write 1 as the denominator 
to make any number as a fraction because if we divide any number by 1 it will not make any difference in the value so same question can be written as 15 out of 1 multiply 2 out of 55 here if we notice 15 and 55 have the common factor which is 5 so if we cut them we will get 3 in the numerator for 15 and 11 in the denominator for 55 so what we have to do to multiply these fractions we will get new fraction by multiplying numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator so we will multiply 3 with 2 and we will multiply 1 with 11 so our new fraction or our result will be 6 out of 11 okay so these were some example for the multiplication now let's see division so for division what we have to do here i have taken 4 out of 15 and we have to divide it with 16 out of 35 so division is also super easy it has just got one extra step which is to flip the second fraction so to divide what we have to do we will write first fraction as it is 4 out of 15 we will just flip or turn the second fraction so numerator has become denominator now and the denominator has become numerator so instead of 16 out of 35 we have written 35 out of 16 and this division sign has changed into multiplication sign so i will be using simplification first method because i prefer that method so now what we will do we will divide the given fraction with the common factor so 4 and 16 have the common factor 4 so i have divided them now we have got 1 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator so our new fractions are 1 out of 15 and 35 out of 4 so if we notice again we can divide these fractions because we have 5 as the common factor in these so if we divide we will get the result like this so now we have new set of numerator and denominator and it can't be cut further so what we will do we will multiply numerator with the numerator and the denominator with the denominator so we, what we will get we will get 7 out of 12 as result so friend these were some examples through which i tried to explain fractions multiplication and division and like my other video here also i want to give you the key notes so that it is very easy for you to remember and do the fraction multiplication and division so for multiplication what we need to do if possible we will simplify the given fractions and step two is multiply numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator and for division what we have to do flip the second fraction and multiply the fractions okay so for today we have got following question so we have to multiply 4 out of 9 with 3 out of 16 and 3 out of 5 we have to divide by 18 out of 25 please write your answers in the comment section i will be waiting for your reply and friends if you think this video was at all helpful for you please like this video and share with your friends and family and please subscribe to my channel it's free and thank you so much for watching this video